Support WrestleTalk! Order a t-shirt. The following video is entirely based on interviews and stories reported by other media outlets, which we collect and curate in an attempt to provide one coherent and well-rounded history piece from the world of professional wrestling. 2001's WrestleMania X7 is thought by many to be the best WrestleMania of all time. It came at a pivotal point in wrestling history and featured the controversial Steve Austin heel turn. But there's one storyline that was originally planned for the show but was eventually cancelled. I am Luke Owen and this is WrestleMania X7's cancelled storyline. WrestleMania X7 had several big marquee matches including Steve Austin vs The Rock, Triple H vs The Undertaker, TLC2 and Shane McMahon taking on his father Vince McMahon in a street fight with Mick Foley as the special guest referee. The storyline had been building since the start of the year, with Vince announcing he was going to divorce his wife Linda, keeping her in a state of psychosis, and dating Trish Stratus who was the same age as his daughter Stephanie. Shane McMahon returned to WWF after a few months off, and the two were set to clash at WrestleMania. However, a new wrinkle to the story was added, as just one week before the biggest show of the year, Vince McMahon purchased rival promotion WCW and the Monday Night War came to an end. Shane showed up on the final WCW Nitro to announce in storyline that he had in fact purchased WCW from under Vince's nose, which would come into play later in the summer when WWF held their Invasion pay-per-view. The first shot fired in that angle came on May 28th when Lance Storm interfered during a Raw match, but there was a discussion of having WCW involved in April's WrestleMania. In the end, that angle didn't happen. Instead, Shane McMahon came out to the ring and gave a shout out to the young talent from WCW and the camera panned up to the skybox where people like Lance Storm, Hugh Morris, Stacey Keebler, Mike Sanders and Sean Stasiak could be seen. Shane McMahon won the match by hitting the coast to coast into a garbage can and the WCW wrestlers applauded politely. However, Dave Meltzer noted in the Wrestling Observer newsletter from the time, the wrestlers were told to bring their gear and their championship belts in the case of Palumbo and O'Hare. So unless they were shooting publicity photos, they may have had a different idea originally than what they were going to do and put them in the luxury box. As it turns out, there was another reason for the WCW wrestlers to bring their gear. Lance Storm revealed in a 2011 blog post that the original plan was for the WCW guys to run in and help Shane win the match. But something happened just a few days before. Storm wrote, Unfortunately, all the effort to keep our Mania appearance secret were for naught because Sean Stasiak did a radio or internet interview the day before and stooged off the whole thing. The office was furious and many of us speculated that it might cost him his job. Stasiak had previously worked for the WWF in the late 90s as Meat, the toy boy for Pretty Mean Sisters. However, he was suspended and fired in December 1999 for recording a conversation between Davey Boy Smith and Steve Blackman without their permission. Although in an interview with Canoe, he argues that he did it as a joke and meant no harm. I wasn't working for hard copy. I wasn't working for WCW. I wasn't blackmailing anybody. I had no prerogative, no motive whatsoever to do anyone harm. I lost my job. I lost my dream, which was to be in the WWF. I think it was a bit extreme for them to do what they did. The day before WrestleMania X7, Stasiak appeared on No Holds Barred radio show and revealed the WCW crew were going to be involved in the Shane and Vince match, and even bragged about getting a WWF deal, which wasn't true, and said they had plans to bring in Bobby the Brain Heenan for a new Nitro show, which also wasn't true. Former NXT trainer and WCW wrestler Bill DeMott, who wrestled at this time as Hugh Morris, added in a 2015 interview on Talk is Jericho in reference to Stasiak's interview and WWF's reaction to it, Kevin Dunn had called John Laurinaitis and said, fire them all, we don't even have them here and this already started. Lance Storm adds in his blog post, Vince was so mad word had leaked that he killed the angle and almost sent us all home. Thankfully, we at least got to stay and watch the show. Demod explains this is why everyone looks so disinterested during the Vince and Shane match, telling Chris Jericho, I went from being in the ring with Shane McMahon at WrestleMania, that was going to be my debut in the WWE, to a silhouette of me and Lance Storm sitting with Mike Sanders and someone else. The whole time, and you can imagine, Lance is just miserable. The invasion came after, but we were supposed to be in the ring in Houston. We've got other WWE Backstage Expose videos here on WrestleTalk, so click the playlist to the left to check those out. Subscribe to this channel and pledge on Patreon for exclusive content. I have been Luke Owen, and that was wrestling.